We go now to amash.house.gov. Very exciting headline from our Libertarian member of Congress. Amash Presley introduced bipartisan legislation to end qualified immunity. Representative Justin Amash, Libertarian. I love it. Look at you see the L dash Michigan. Yes. Yes. And Ayanna Presley, Democrat, Massachusetts, today introduced the Ending Qualified Immunity Act to eliminate qualified immunity and restore Americans' ability to obtain relief when state and local officials, including police officers, violate their legal and constitutionally secured rights. They were joined by Representatives Elon Omar, Diana DeGette, uh, Jesus Chuy Garcia, Earl Blumenauer, James McGovern, uh, Shelley Pingree, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Adriano Espaillat, Gregory Meeks, Nadia Velasquez, Eleanor Holmes Norton, Barbara Lee, Mark Decano, Andre Carson, Carolyn Maloney, and Joseph P. Kennedy as original co-sponsors. Can you guess the party affiliations there, Jim? Every single one a Democrat. All of them. And they said, what's so cool about this is I don't think Democrats, you know, and these might be, you know, and I recognize a lot of these names, not all of them, but, you know, um, people who I, I generally respect as outspoken leftists, at least as ideologues, who aren't just there uh, to, to get a paycheck and get their kickbacks for their pork barrel projects and things like that, but they, they, who are there at least representing the, some ideology. And so they have to sign on to something like this. And it's really powerful to see this, but especially that it's, this is being referred to as the Amash Presley bill. And it's a libertarian in Congress pulling the Democrats in our direction, getting them to focus their attention on this one thing that we can agree on that really represents a fundamental linchpin for American justice. Qualified immunity, this is the quote from Amash, qualified immunity protects police and other officials from consequences even for horrific rights abuses. It prevents accountability for the bad apples and undermines the public's faith in law enforcement. It's at odds with the text of the law and the intent of Congress, and it ultimately leaves Americans' rights without appropriate protection. Members of Congress have a duty to ensure government officials can be held accountable for violating Americans' rights, and ending qualified immunity is a crucial part of that. See what I mean as, as a linchpin? If this really takes effect at the federal level, and they're able to somehow make this a, a national policy that you can sue a police officer for damages like any other citizen. And we see, and again, incremental change. Don't get your hopes up. You're going to see a flood of cases. You're going to see courts resisting hearing those cases. But eventually you are going to see a shift in the mentality. How do you change the mind of every police officer on the street? You pass a bill like this. You have a few cases where officers get excuse me, get held accountable and end up losing all of their money. That's where you hit them. And because they messed with somebody and they cause damages to a civilian. They can't hide behind a badge. The badge no longer becomes a hiding place for the petty criminal bullies that make up such a large part of the police force. At least while they're there, and you think about it, those who are there for those reasons would eventually get phased out. You know, if, you, if you're if you're of that mentality and you're abusing your authority as a police officer every day, and then you go, oh, "Shit, I could get sued for this stuff," and you keep going out and, and you don't really pay attention to this, eventually you get you get sued and you get fired. Um, even if you don't get fired, if you go broke being a cop and then you have you have a debt and liability, and even if they let you keep your job. You're not going to go back to that job if it's going to send you further into debt and mess you up you know, financially, even worse. It could. That's the, the major step in the right direction that this represents as a real linchpin of the police state. Presley said, quote, qualified immunity shields police from accountability and impedes true justice. 
and undermines the constitutional rights of every person in this country. There can be no justice without healing and accountability, and there can be no true accountability with qualified immunity. It's past time to end qualified immunity, and that's exactly what this bill does. The bill is endorsed by the ACLU of Massachusetts, Arab American Institute, Constitutional Accountability Center, Due Process Institute, Lawyers for Civil Rights, the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights, National Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers, National Urban League, Republican Liberty Caucus. There's one uh, across the aisle endorsement, very cool. The Republican Liberty Caucus, RLC. The Justice Collaborative and Young Americans for Liberty, among other civil society groups. So this is very exciting. We'll definitely be following this and uh, how it takes effect, but especially uh, how it changes uh, police community relationships.